Various cities in the Czech Republic were affected by heavy rain and flooding on Saturday. Czech authorities erected metal barriers or protective walls from sandbags, while water was released from dams to make space in reservoirs. Residents have been warned to get ready for possible evacuations. Some public events planned for the weekend have been cancelled at the request of authorities, including soccer matches in the top two leagues. We have to be ready for the worst-case scenarios, Prime Minister Petra Fiala said after a meeting of his government's Central Crisis Committee. A tough weekend is ahead of us. Meteorologists say a low-pressure system from northern Italy was predicted to dump much rainfall in most parts of the Czech Republic, or Czechia, including the capital and border regions with Austria and Germany in the south, and Poland in the north. Central Europeans are especially wary because some experts have compared the weekend forecast to devastating floods in 1997 in the region, referred to by some as the flood of the century. Over 100 people were killed in the floods 27 years ago, including 50 in the eastern Czech Republic where large sections of land was inundated. The biggest rainfall was predicted in the eastern half of the country, particularly in the Jeseniki Mountains. The second largest city of Brno, located in eastern Czech Republic, is among places that have not had flooding protection work completed, unlike Prague. Czechs were asked not to go to parks and woods as high winds of up to 100 km were forecast. Během chvilky, co jsem se bavil tady s místníma nebo něco, během deseti minut prostě šla hladina nahoru o, já nevím, o 20 cm. A... Tak uvidíme, to víte, že mám strach, co bude nebo co ne, protože když si furt bude pršet, tak na poli už se taky tvoří jezera, že? A kde to půjde z toho jezera? Bude se to rozlívat a to je to nejhorší, no? Tak uvidíme, no. Co bude? The death toll in the aftermath of a typhoon in Vietnam climbed to 233 on Friday as rescue workers recovered more bodies from areas hit by landslides and flash floods, state media reported. Flood waters from the swollen Red River in the capital, Hanoi, were beginning to recede somewhat, but many neighborhoods remained inundated, and farther north experts were predicting it could still be days before any relief was in sight. 
Typhoon Yagi made landfall Saturday, starting a week of heavy rains that have triggered flash floods and landslides, particularly in Vietnam's mountainous north. Across Vietnam, 103 people are still listed as missing and more than 800 have been injured. The United Nations Children's Agency, UNICEF, said the storm and its aftermath has also damaged some 550 health facilities, 800 schools and more than 100,000 homes, while leaving more than 3 million people with no access to safe drinking water. It said it is working with the government and other partners to deliver bottled water, purification tablets, filtration systems and other emergency aid to the area's hardest hit. Yeah. 